Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick tutorial on navigating the node network in Terrigen 4. Node network navigation is easiest when using a mouse with a scroll wheel. Hold the middle mouse button to pan. Alternatively, you can also hold the Alt key and the left mouse button to pan. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Click and drag to move individual nodes. You can also click and drag to move an entire group of nodes. Click and drag an empty space to draw a selection box around multiple nodes. Nodes can be dragged between groups and attached to the new group. Groups can be resized by dragging the corners. Connect nodes by clicking and dragging from the output of one node to the input of another node. Delete a connection by clicking near the far end of a connecting line. New nodes can be created in several ways. The first is to right-click on the network and look through the menus until you find the node you want. Notice that several of the nodes are listed in multiple places in the menus. For example, the simple shape shader is listed both under color and displacement. When adding a node this way, it won't be added to the group by default. So if you'd like to make it part of a group, you need to drag it off the group and drag it back on again. Now we can see it is attached to the group. A second way to create a new node is to right-click on the output of an existing node. Choose a node from the menu as before, but this time the new node will automatically be connected into the network between the original node and the following node. Nodes added in this way are automatically added to the same group as the original node. A third way to create new nodes is to use the Quick Node Palette. To access the palette, press the N key while in the node network. The node palette allows you to quickly search for a particular node, and even allows you to create a list of favorites for easy access. One final tip is that each node has a preview window that can be accessed by clicking the small blue square in the top right of its node setting window. What may not be immediately obvious is that this preview acts in a similar way to the main 3D preview and will show 3D output information for many nodes. For example, by default, this fractal terrain preview shows a plain color, but if we zoom out, we can start to see the landscape it's producing, and we can explore it using the same controls as the main 3D preview.